Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're finally back. Vegan. Veg tail. Yeah, vegan. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Veggie Tales. <laughs> Should we title this video watching VeggieTales in quarantine again? It's COVID right now. So for 500,000 views. Half a million people. We are watching the pirates who don't do anything. I've been holding this one off for a while because I said never again. Bajidea. <laughs> Dog. He's not a dog. He's a <laughs> vegetable. So far, I do want to say this looks worse than Jonah did. <laughs> well, didn't didn't Jonah come out later than this? No, Jonah came out came out first, and then this came out in 2008. That was a good year, guys. Don't you remember 2008 and the financial crisis that followed? It was great. I was I didn't care about any of that because <laughs> I was eight. I was playing like Mario Galaxy as my parents were like trying to refinance the house. It was awesome. Robert, I should have known you were behind this cowardly attack. Sorry I've missed the family reunions, being banished and all. Me when Robert is behind a cowardly attack. You know why he's called Robert? Is because he's robotic. Why does he know? Why does he have arms? Because he's robotic. Those are robot arms. I know, don't know. Yeah, that's why he's called Robert, because he's a robot. <laughs> My brother needs help. Oh, heavens, m'lady. As your butler, I cannot allow you- Oh, great heavens. Her voice actress is just giving, I'm Princess Jane. Oh my God. Her brother needs help. We need heroes that can save Alexander. I'm Princess Jane. She just says that after every line. <laughs> I would like to show you some tricks. We need help. Alexander has been taken. We need heroes. Alexander has been taken. Hey, after the show's over, you want me to take you down on the pirate ship? Sir Frederick is going to take us. Want me to take you down on the pirate ship? I'm going to take you to the ranch. Either you come back to my place or... I'm going to send you ranch. <laughs> I'm going to give you ranch. Listen to me. There's the stage. We're the heroes at hand. Larry, nobody cares. No, his name is Elliot. Larry the Cumcuber. <laughs> oh, dude. I can't believe he fired us just for failing an audition and breaking the restaurant. Yeah, for real, dude. <laughs> like the characters that they're trying to play in the play, I haven't seen this in years, so I don't remember, uh, are based on them after they go back in time and become legendary. No, the play is kind of just a separate thing. It's just to establish that they know like anything about like ships, and that's pretty much it. That definitely couldn't have been a cool plot point. Big idea indeed. Hey, what's the big idea? Hey, what's the big idea? I'm walking here. Give me my bacon, egg, and cheese. What is it? Well, it could be something valuable, like a Russian satellite. I love that the Russians are canonical within this universe. Well, this is real life current day, dude. <laughs> Did a bunch of vegetables just invade Ukraine? I know that's insensitive, but I have to think about it just a little bit. You ruined my life! <laughs> hey, we could have two robots. Wait! Row, 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 row. It would have taken that orb, you know, roughly 300 years to get to where it was. And I know they traveled back in time, but they still would have had to wait 300 years for someone to find that. How did, how? It's like how if you left a time machine at one spot and then, you know, used it a few thousand years later, you could just go back. Like, it's not that complicated. Also, based on this logic, there would now be two of those orbs. No. Yeah, because they traveled back with the orb to a time where the orb still existed? No, because she sent it away and it went to them and brought them back. Yeah, th 400 years in the future. So technically, the same orb exists twice in this place right now. No, it doesn't. It's like going to the future and then meeting your past self. This orb existed for 400 years and now they're back to the time when it still existed. We are, if we're going with year theory that it didn't time travel forwards, it just kind of hung out for 400 years and then went back. The one from the future is the one that's also there. There's a past one and a future one at the same time. Why does it matter that there's two orbs, though? If this is the MacGuffin, there's two of them, and they could just go get the other one. It doesn't happen because it's Veggie Tales. So they're both technically right. The Jude and Bren theory is that the orb just kind of rolled around for hundreds of years and then poofed back when he found Larry, Paul, Grape, and Mr. Lunt. The Josiah theory is that 
it works like the TARDIS and it just pops in and out of time. I think this is probably the strongest theory because every other time besides the boat, we see the orb flash. So why would the orb decide to be dormant to find Larry, Paul, Grape, and Mr. Blunt? I think that's stupid. I think it would poof. And so therefore in the Josiah theory, there would never really be a time where the orb would meet itself. But I think this orb could actually be God. Oh, you don't rob or pillage, do you? Oh, no. We don't do any of that stuff. Rob. Yeah, pirates rob and pillage. I mean, they do rob technically, so, you know. What do you what do you think pillaging is? Mm -hmm. It's like why wow, you steal and you steal. steal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I imagine robberies and pillaging as like two different things. Yeah, one of them ski masks and the other one's burning the town down after you took everything. Robbing is just, hey, give me your money. And pillaging is like, you're dead. I'm taking your stuff. If you did that to me and tried to rob me, I would laugh and walk the way. <laughs> yeah, just give me your money. The spies are in place, sir. Yeah. What is that? Vegetable. Hench vegetable. Henchtable. Since you want to act onions. There you go. Clean version. <laughs> PG. Family friendly. Clean. Since your butt want to act <laughs> glutes. Posterior. Buttholes. And my butthole acts onions all the time. I bet it does. You love your dad a lot, huh? He's a wonderful king. Wise, brave, but he always finds time for me. I wish you'd find time to go die somewhere. I hate you. Don't worry. She goes to prison for part of this movie. It's just feeling more and more like an old video, and I love it. We should edit it with the really long pauses. I just won't do anything to Lord's edit. In that cave, the clues to find in his secret lair. Not that I'd go looking for it. Not that I'd go looking for it. God, I hate French people. <laughs> Our British people. British people. Yep, <laughs> British people. That's what I was going for. It's Madame Blueberry. It's Madame Blueberry. Oh, which way would be uh, home? George! Sedgwick, Elliot, where are you going? Sedgwick, that's his name? Sedgwick Diggly. That's my boy. That's my sauce. Sauce. That's my boob. <laughs> Guys, we'll be fine. We can look like heroes without doing anything dangerous. Yo, ho, hero, standing in the gap. Hey, it's that party yacht at my buddy's wedding. I was about to say, uh, in my head, when I saw the boat crossing by, I was like, where is Pitbull just blasting? Pitbull would be better than whatever this music is. When did VeggieTales music suck? Because it's right now. Because they got like Toby Mac and the Newsboys to work on this stuff. Did they actually? Also, those are two names that I have never cared about. I prefer Toby Windows. Toby Mac made an entire song about how he wanted to buy a Mac for his child. I hate Toby Mac. Yeah. If a sailor were to look for me, the east is where he'd start. He'd reach the Isle of Walking Rocks and the Clapping Pass would part, then gaze with pride upon my keep, not found on any chart, till he would spy on my steely eye and fear would stop his heart. The Isle of Walking Rocks and the, the Clapping, clapping Pass. pass. I, I, don't, I don't know about going to the Clapping Pass. Don't you want to go home? Don't you want to see your kids? Sure, I want to see my kids. But I also want them to want to see me. They're not going to know about any of this, and they're not going to believe you even if you tell them. Uh, no one's going to believe you. No, like, but for real, like, I want my kids to respect me. What are you going to tell them? You time traveled to the 17th century and saved a princess from, like, a robot pirate? Yes. No, it's a rowboat. No, that's a rowboat. No, that's a ball. PK. Have it your way. The hypno ring. <laughs> the hypno ring. Guys, let us know if you want us to watch Captain Underpants. Ultra Lord. Ultra Lord. Do you remember when VeggieTales was like somewhat grounded in reality? It was usually a parody of another movie or a Bible story. The writers like had something to play off of and make funny. The title of the movie is genuinely true. Like <laughs> nothing is happening. They're going places. <laughs> Veggie Tales 9 11. <laughs> they had like little box cutters floating in front of them. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, that guy's stoned. <laughs> Really getting all your buddies worked on the Go XLR before it finally breaks. <laughs> I'm also about to like make the switch finally. So Nintendo in 2017. Oh, I love the Joy Cons. My life is like a video game. 
see it's called clapping pass because the rocks do this, which is imitating clapping. Oh, the clapping pass. I get it. <laughs> see, he got it. It's the clapping pass. Oh, the clapping pass. Oh my god, guys, the hourglass is running out. The hourglass <laughs> no, is gonna run out. We're dude, gonna, there's not gonna dude, be enough time for the movie anymore. The hourglass out. is gonna run out. Gonna run oh out. no, oh my god, oh my god, it's running out, it's running it's out. You better hurry up. Why'd you hit pause? pause? Why did you hit pause? pause there's not enough time. I paused it, I paused it so it stopped moving. In the middle of the recording, we're not gonna have enough time to finish the recording. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Okay, guys, let's go get the princess. Let's go. What was <laughs> what does this have to do with what we're watching or saying again? Absolutely nothing. It's just funny. <laughs> this is the most boring movie ever. Yeah, like seriously though, remember when VeggieTales was like, you know, kind of low-key good and that's why it was really successful? Yeah, like Lord of the Beans and nothing else. Jonah was good. Jonah was really good. It's just slower than The Godfather. I did not care for The Godfather. We can't get much further. Is God about to help them? Or is this the post-God era of Veggie Tales? What is it? Hey, look, it's the it's God. It's the king. It's Santa Claus. And he's the father and the king. Yeah, he's the father. He's the king. He's on a golden boat that came through the, the bright light after he uh, moved the rock. It's a metaphor. It's like when Jesus died. Oh. Except the king never died. <laughs> sure enough. Oh no! He's gonna go back with them! I love this movie. This is so good. This is so epic and awesome adventure that it's really entertaining to watch. Say hello to my little friend! Get it? Cause there's a movie that says that! It's also the world's slowest paced fight scene. Time to go home! Uh oh. <laughs> this movie's bad. This is the first VeggieTales content we've covered that I like don't like. Is this movie a yar or a nar? <laughs> yar or nar? Well, we have um, other VeggieTales videos if you want to watch something old. If you want to watch us from three years ago, roughly, you can watch Lord of the Beans. Board of the Lean. Lord of the Lean. Anyway, you're going to say it? Say the line, Bart. Say the line, Bart.